We got breaking news out of the NFL, specifically with the Patriots. New England releasing the former Defensive Player of the Year, Stephon Gilmore. A lot of talks about trade and possibly a new contract in the offseason with one of their best defensive backs for pretty much a long time ago. Uh, Gilmore, of course, no longer in the building. Interesting to see where he lands for free agency. But when you're talking about some of the shutdown corners in the past four, five, six, seven seasons, it's been Gilmore at the top of that list at some times. You got to think four-time Pro Bowler, two-time first-team All-Pro. As I mentioned, that 2019 Defensive Play of the Year, now on the other side of 30. Be interested to see where he lands no longer in New England. Let's bring our Jason Lockett forward with this. And Jason, this coming down, of course, today, uh, the tweets are out there, the message is out there. What can you tell us about Gilmore no longer in a Patriots uniform this season? Yeah, I was a little surprised they didn't find a way to tack on some incentives and, and keep this thing together for one more year. But the time to do that was in the offseason, and they didn't get anywhere. Uh, trading a player who's, who's hurt, uh, he can't play until you know week six at the earliest the way things stand right now because of the pup list. Um, that makes it tricky. He makes a lot of money. Um, there aren't that many owners who are all that excited about taking on a contract like that this time of year. Uh, and ultimately, you know, they're moving on. He wasn't a part of their future. Um, now they don't get a compensatory pick for him, though, and they obviously get no compensation as they would have through trade, and he becomes a free agent. Um, I would immediately think of a team like Kansas City Chiefs who need a lot of help on defense and are short at corners. Um, Green Bay has suffered a bunch of injuries to corners. Now, they don't seem, some of them, to be as long-term. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. But the bottom line is he, he's not going to be able to play football um, from a procedural standpoint because of his roster status for at least two more weeks. Um, and then when is he truly healthy? When could he be cleared to to go, you know, how close is he to 100% and being his old self. I don't know that anybody knows those answers, but we know he won't be doing it in a Patriots uniform. JC, JLC, I've mentioned he's on the other side of 30 now, but when he's healthy, you can say he's maybe a top 15 quarter in the league. That's more than half the quarters of the league as we can speak right now. What does he bring to the table if he is added to a roster at some point? Well, again, I think the question is, when is he healthy? You know what I mean? What do our doctors think about this situation? Um, he's been out for a while. Um, he hasn't played any football for a while. And, and that's really the key question. We're already a month into the season. So I think this for him is going to be more about him picking a situation. Because there's going to be, obviously, there's going to be interest. The former defensive player of the year. Um, but where does he think the best possibility lies for for him to probably relaunch himself because I would imagine he's looking to do a one-year deal here prove he's healthy again and then see what he can get at the high end of the free agent market come March so here I think it's more about sort of opportunity right and again I, I said Kansas City anybody who's watched the Tampa Bay Bucks and they're signing corners off the street and that was maybe their one uh, issue spot before the season started and now they're turning you know to a Richard Sherman could Gilmore make sense for them as well? He obviously played with Brady and Gronk. It's New England South down there. So I think it's more about where the fit is for him um, right now. And then the, the Bafo contract resetting the market. Um, I, I think that's probably 2022. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.